Good morning. Welcome to the week six vlog. Hello. <laughs> um, kicking off strong. Feel a bit sick. Got my ginger nuts out. Um, I'm six weeks today, so. Um. Oh, <laughs> are you showing that you've got one as well? What is it? Biscuit. Biscuits. Yeah. Yeah, I was feeling quite um sicky, so broke the ginger nuts out. Hopefully it's gonna help just eating them slowly. Um and yeah. Welcome to week six. I knew this would happen. <laughs> but I, it's very manageable, like very, very manageable. Careful, darling. Careful. You don't want to fall over, do you? But yeah. That's all my update for now. I'm just about to take this little one to nursery because life goes on even when you feel sick. Careful, please. Careful. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> so it's still the same day, week six, day one, I don't know, day zero, literally 10, six weeks today. Um, and I don't remember ever having this with Rosie. That's why I'm documenting it, but I don't remember eating helping sickness. Um, I've read about it a lot recently, but I, I feel like I did loads of research when I was pregnant with Rosie, but I didn't, I don't remember reading that. I don't remember doing it, but in the early days of feeling sick, eating now is actually like really helping my sickness. Like it's not even sickness, it's just nausea. Like I just feel like this pit in my stomach. I really can't, I don't know how to describe it. Like it just, you just feel icky, just sicky. Just ignore my messy countertops, honestly. This whole kitchen needs a good clean. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd make some tortellini because I was suddenly fancying it and I never have a hot lunch. I'm, I'm a cold lunch girl and then a hot dinner. But I was like, I want something more fulfilling than like a sandwich. Like I'm hungry for food that's not gonna make me feel sick. I don't know, I can't describe it. It's so hard to describe morning sickness. Like there's just no words for it. Like talking actually makes me feel more sick than not talking. It's just, hmm, strange. <laughs> and how long has this got left? One minute, yeah. So I'm gonna pile it on with loads of cheese, tomato and mascarpone sauce. And yeah, hopefully get this down with me and then I'm gonna go on my walk for my lunch break because I'm going to eat while I'm working and then I'm going to go on my lunch break and go for a walk because fresh air you just need it while I can still handle walking around I'm going to do it and I'm going to walk and it's all going to be good but yeah I will catch up with you later on in the week and hopefully it stays just like this because that would be bliss <laughs> coming to you from my sofa again I'm um, six weeks and one day so it's only been a day oh. I don't feel very well I haven't been able to have my morning coffee. I'm tired. My stomach is just churning. I just feel so sick. I can't believe I was wishing for this. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm I'm on the struggle bus this morning. <sighs> Sorry. Um yeah, I just want to curl up on a ball and go back to sleep. I really don't feel well. I've had a couple of ginger nuts this morning. Because I know when you don't feel well, you need to keep eating. But yeah, I'm struggling. Honestly, I cannot believe this is what I wished for. I mean, it is a good thing. I know it is a good thing. Because it means like the HCD levels are rising, which means that your baby's growing, which is fantastic. But yeah yeah <laughs> i'm struggling but it's okay it's okay i don't think the weather's helping i struggle from like seasonal depression and right now it's just miserable and gray and just cold and not nice <sighs> and it makes you feel down and then feeling sick makes you feel down feeling tired makes you feel down it's just it's not a good mixture is it so Fingers crossed, I perk up later and I can eat something proper. Because I think that's what I need, I just can't, I can't stomach it right now. But yeah, I'll keep you updated. Hopefully this week six pregnancy vlog isn't too long, but I just feel like I really want to document everything. So yeah, not a good start to the day, but hopefully it gets better. <laughs> Hello guys, slightly different room behind me. This is where I work. 
Um, so I am now, I think I'm six weeks and five, four or five days. Um, the nausea, like, it's basically always there. It gets worse and then better and then worse and better, but it never really goes away. I don't remember this with Rosie, but eating is really helping me, which is strange because I do find myself being really hungry, but it's only certain things I want. Like, I really want, like, hot home-cooked meals, but I don't have the energy to actually make them. So, like, this weekend, Matt made a cottage pie and he's left enough over for two bowls. It's only Monday. Um, I've just had the first bowl and I really want to eat the second one already, like... I was feeling so, so sick before it. So I had to, I knew I had to eat something because it has been making me feel better. Um, and then, yeah, I ate it so fast. And now I'm like, I'm still hungry. I'm so hungry. I want to eat it again. I love cottage pie. Like, I love cottage pie. But I don't really have anything else <laughs> in the house, really. And I just don't have the energy to cook. Like, I really, really don't. Like, I would love to make another cottage pie. But the thought of doing it, it's just like, that's draining. Absolutely draining. Which is so silly. And I don't really like, like, the store-bought ones. I don't, they're not, they're just not the ones that, like, we make at home. But, yeah. Feeling, like, shaky quite a lot. Um, like I say, the sickness is just the main thing. I'm just always sick. My boobs still hurt. Um, I'm getting really, like, quite bad stomach cramps. Um, I'm burping so much. So much. Like, I cannot even believe how much I'm burping. It's embarrassing. I have to really control myself, like, when, when, I'm, when I'm on a work call or I'm out in public, like, they are loud belches. It is horrible. <laughs> um, drinking, I'm finding really hard. I'm really not enjoying drinking. Um, like I've just started like putting it in a bottle, but like look at this. I barely drank it. I filled it up like two hours ago. Like I'm really struggling to drink, which is probably not going to help the like sick feeling because I know you're meant to keep hydrated. But I usually love this. This is Vimto, and I usually love it. But because when I first found out I was pregnant, I was drinking loads because I really wanted to stay hydrated, and now because it's so sweet, it's making me feel sick, and I don't want sweet stuff I want like save not savory but like just I don't know is is a hot meal like savory I don't know I don't want sweet stuff basically so yeah it's so hard this I will take this over how I was with Rosie though because excuse me because with Rosie I was so sick I can't remember whether I was so sick now or it just got worse I really cannot remember Oh, honestly. But, yeah, I will take... If it's going to stay like this and I can just keep on eating to, like, keep it at bay, I will do that. I'm sorry about this. There we go. No, it's no better. There we go. Um, Yeah, if I can just, like, keep it like this, I will be all right. I'll survive it. This weekend, Matt let me, like, sleep in until half eight both mornings, which is needed. It's just so needed. Because, obviously, I... I I'm a solo parent during the week, Matt works away, so I get up with Rosie whenever she's up and during the night and get her ready for nursery and everything like that. And it doesn't sound like a lot of work, but it's not fun getting Rosie ready for the day. It's like you have to wrestle. You've got to wrestle to get her undressed, you've got to wrestle to get her dressed, you've got to wrestle to try and get her to have a wee on the potty. Then you've got to wrestle and brush her teeth and it's just like everything's like an absolute fight and when you're not feeling very well, it's really draining and then I've got to drive her to nursery and all of that malarkey and then pick her up and work during the day and... It's just a lot on my own, so when Matt's home, I'm so happy that he let me sleep because I needed it. Like, my body is crying out for sleep. I am exhausted. Physically exhausted. Just, like, I had a massive cry last night because I, I haven't cried since I found out I was pregnant, which was only two and a half weeks ago, maybe. Maybe even three weeks ago now, actually. Yeah, I think it was three weeks ago now I found out. Three weeks today. Um, and... I was gonna say, yeah, I'm, I've not cried since finding out, and then last night I just like the floodgates opened, and I just cried about every single thing, good and bad, like just, just, 
sobbed and then I slept really well because <laughs> I was just knackered after it. I think I cried for a good like hour, hour and a half, I don't even know. And at the end, like obviously I was with Matt and I was like, I don't want to cry anymore, don't ask me any more questions. It was just like, oh, I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, I feel good right now, which is why I thought I'd do this. You don't want to see me when I'm like, ugh. But yeah, I think that'll be my last update for week six, to be honest. I normally do them on a Monday um, when I'm six and five. And I know I've, I filmed a couple earlier on in the week just to keep you kind of updated and me updated. I haven't been testing anymore. I really want to though. I kind of want to test tomorrow morning. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why, but every single morning I've gone for like that first week. I'm like, damn, I wish I could have tested. So, oh God, I'm so sorry. Um, and I've still got three, four tests left. It's just like the cheap little strips. So I'm just gonna do it tomorrow morning probably. Or maybe even tonight, I don't know. I'm just, I just want to do it. I just want to do it. So I'm going to do it. And that's that. Like, <laughs> I can't say anything else apart from I just want to do it. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. No. I'm really looking forward. It's like, I think it's 11 days now until our first midwife appointment, which I'm really looking forward to. I booked it off work. I worked for my dad, so I was worried he was going to ask me why. So I was like coming up with an excuse, like, um, <laughs> Matt and I are just going to have a morning while Rose is at work. Work? School? Nursery? Oh, crikey. Adding ages onto her. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm not so much looking forward to the blood draw, but well, that's neither here or there. Has to happen, so never mind. I only just had a blood test recently, so yeah. All good. I just, I wish that like we were in a position to be able to get like an earlier scan because I feel like waiting for 12 weeks is just so damn long. Like I want to know that this baby in there is growing. Yeah. Does that worry ever go away? I really don't know. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. We told Matt's mom this weekend actually, we told Matt's parents, I should say, this weekend that we were having a baby because Matt felt like because he's working away that I needed someone close-ish that knew so he could help me like an emergency situation um or if I'm really struggling could come and help me um so yeah we told we told them this weekend and I I do agree with it I wish I could tell my parents too but they wouldn't be able to do anything right now whereas Debbie would be able to help me so it does make sense to tell her um and yeah, I'm really looking forward to telling my parents. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to be going up to see my mum in Scotland in the beginning week of May, I think. So I plan to tell her then. I'll be like 13, 14 weeks. So if I can try and keep it a secret till then, I would love to. Um, I'm not sure about my dad. I work for my dad, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to keep it a secret. But I would like to tell him in a nice way, not just like over the phone. I want to see him in person to do it. Because that's how we told Debbie as well. And that's how I want to tell my mum. And hopefully tell my brothers and sisters. Yeah, I just, I I did it mostly all over the phone for like extended family last year. And I would like to tell them all in person, but it's really hard to see everyone in person. when we all live all over the country. So I feel like I'm going to have to burp real soon, like a big old burp. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm feeling okay. Still having no problems taking my pregnancy vitamin either. I was just looking at it then and I was like, that's going down fine. I'm making sure I just eat it, eat it, take it when I've finished eating. So I know that that nausea is not really going to be a problem, not make me gag. So yeah, doing that. It's weird because I don't fancy anything apart from very like select things. Like earlier on this week, I only wanted croissants. And I, my friend went out and bought me a bag of croissants and I ate one. I didn't want them anymore. I was like, no, 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 no. They just make me feel sick. I don't want toast anymore. All the things are really easy to make. I bought a whole new, like, packet of um, ginger nuts. I don't want them anymore. Like, it's really hard. Like, I just, I don't want very much, but I know I need to eat something. I had a Scottish egg earlier. That was great. Yeah, I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what is the certain ingredient to something that I want, but I want it. And the Scottish egg, I had to have heating up, heating, heated up. Um, I'm not sure these are making any difference. They're kind of just hurting me. Be honest um 
but I'm too scared to take them off now. So yeah, I think I've rambled enough. Um, I don't think there's anything else to update you on really. So I will see you in my week six pregnancy vlog. Seven pregnancy, oh God, can I blame, can I blame baby brain yet? Like, <laughs> or pregnancy brain, I don't know. Yeah, so I'll see you in my week seven pregnancy vlog. Bye guys.